We're gonna catch one fish on this trip, and that one fish is gonna make all this worth it. We're looking for one bite. When you run two Mr. Buddies on high at night, your uh, house tends to get a little soupy because we're right on the ice. We ended up catching a few burial last night, um, and we had one fly go off. We didn't show you guys it because it was completely dark out. Other than that, it's been pretty slow. We've had a couple fish move in this morning, um, but nothing so far. We've caught some Lakers, we've caught some Burbit, just not the Mondo we're after. Oh yeah, these are set. They're honestly not bad. Oh, thank you. There's a mark. Honestly though, like to put things into perspective, like catching those three trout on Lake of the Woods yesterday, you'd have to sit out there all day mm -hmm. to catch three trout like that. Here we're like pissed. Mm -hmm. We got Dr. Chum over there, chumming up. Um, he loves to cut the chum. He likes to get his hands all sticky, so we'll let him do all that. We might go check the tip offs, we might not. Um, problem is they're sitting anywhere from 55 to 75 feet of water. And it's just like setting one up takes about 10 minutes each, so it'd be an hour less of us jigging, so. I just don't know if it's gonna, the big one's gonna come jigging or if it's gonna come on the tip up. Alex, we're gonna get some bibs on. We got a bunch of chum cut up. We're gonna go check our tip ups. We're gonna put some fresh bait on. Cause I think we might be missing some key ingredients on this tip up, say bud? Something. Something's not working. But this is just clear water. Slow, and then all of a sudden, you're a hero, so. Let me just cream this. Oh, baby, we're hooked up. Got a bunch of chum going on here. Yeah, it honestly doesn't feel like crazy small. Oh, yeah. Okay. First one of the morning, Spencer just grabbed this one, um, helped him out right there. But that fish is a beautiful uh, small guy. <laughs> We're having fun with it. Small guy trout. Small guy trout. He's got awesome colors, and uh, we'll get him back for you guys. First fish of the morning. I gotta put a different bait on, dude. Good freaking right now. <laughs> Where's your rod case outside? Yeah. You need help? You got it. No, I got it. There's some gamblers in there. Ooh, trout, bigger, a little bigger. You know, like we said, if you put this into perspective, if you're like on Lake of the Woods or somewhere, this would not be a bad trout. So, definitely not. Look at the fat that thing. I can just feel how full he is. Super cool little guy. Pop him unhooked here and slide him right back. We got it. We got to tip up. We got to get to it. Not a lot of line on it. Nice. Oh, gone. Damn it. That's what you called spooled, hey, Rick? That is what you would call spooled. That was a big trout. This is the second time this fly has gone off. We almost got spooled the time before. The fish must have just taken a run. Been actually hooked this time. Oh, yeah. So after getting spooled, <clears throat> we're gonna send some. Uh, we're gonna send another bait down with that one. We're, we actually only brought four tip ups, of course. We were kind of light on gear. We had a big snowmobile right out here, so uh, we're gonna get that one changed out. Let me get some chum down there, and uh, hopefully that tip up goes off again, because that's the one that's been going off the most. And I see a fish down here right now, so I'm gonna see if I can dig this one up quick. We're gonna catch one fish on this trip, and that one fish is gonna make all this worth it. We're looking for one bite. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my god, you're right. Hi. Oh, big? Big. Oh my gosh. That's a giant. 
Dead sticking. Oh my gosh. GoPro's rolling. Oh my gosh. So we just marked one. I look at my rod. It's going in the water. I, I haven't moved this fish. I haven't touched it. I haven't done anything. Oh my gosh, Alex. <laughs> I haven't moved it. I haven't done anything. That's a 42 inch rod that's really stiff and it's bent like that. Never seen it bent like that. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. This is what we spent. Oh, it's cutting into the ice. Okay, what do you need me to do? Uh, I need a scoop. Oh no, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Okay, keep touching on. Oh, go outside and hit that scoop just in case it gets caught in the ice. Oh my gosh! Woo! Do we have room? Holy cow, this is a magnum, dude! Oh my goodness, boys, I haven't moved it. Look at this. I haven't touched it. How's the lighting? What do we got going on, booty? We good? Everything's good. Okay. What do you do here? Dude, I haven't moved it out. I haven't done anything. I don't like it. Like, that. it's just heavy. Uh-oh, there's my backing. <gasps> I'll loosen the dragger now. Uh, I got Dude. <sighs> Dude. Dude, he's gonna spool me. How big is this thing? I don't know, I gotta tighten up though. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. He's not even close. My heart's racing. I gotta get him some wine. Folks, this is a big, big, big heavy fish. So we marked it. I looked over at my rod and I just see it going down. Oh my goodness. We've had four tip ups down. Not one of those has gone off and we have been fishing in here. What hour are we on, El? Gotta be 24, hours. 24 hours, I suppose. Yeah, spot. We've been Al, you can probably see him down there. Hey, really? water's pretty cloudy. Am I cut into the ice? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. I'd go easy here. Easy here. Easy here. I think I'm cut into the ice. You want me to go down there? I don't like it. Just just focus. We're fine. Oh, no, there is. There you go. Just focus. Oh, he's right here. You see him? I felt my swivel. There he is. Oh my goodness. Really, that big? Oh Holy my cow. goodness. Holy cow, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay. Swivel, man. Just relax, just relax. We're gonna get this fish up. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. Wish we would've drilled double holes at this point, but it's okay. Stay on the rod program. Oh, I almost had his head. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, easy here. Easy here. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Get him out. Get him out. Oh Get my out. gosh! Get him out! Oh my oh god! Holy oh oh cow! Look at this leg, bro! Oh, 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 oh my gosh, goodness, get him the shot out. Oh, look at that monster trout. Oh my goodness. That's incredible! That's what we come out here for! Look yeah. at that thing! That chicken buried! Oh! Yeah, we'll put him in a live boat. Okay. Live boat? We have a live boat outside. Watch that rod behind you, Sophie. Oh my god. Let's get him some fresh water. Oh, that chicken? We just pulled this fish out of 60 feet, so we're gonna let him chill out in the live boat here. He just had probably the most stressful moment he might have ever had, so we're just gonna let him hang out get his bearings before sending him down. If we just sent him down right now, he might just swim down to the bottom and belly up or go into the ice and belly up. So just kind of let him relax. But more importantly, we're gonna get a good picture, good measurement, and then we're gonna release him. Yep. So, so uh, we don't know if, we don't have a legitimate bump board. All we have is a tape measure. So we're gonna put the fish on here quick, put the we're tape measure on We're gonna put a little bit of water on there real quick. And then, uh, and then we're gonna slide him right back. Yeah. I mean, this is, the GoPro shot of all this is just absolutely insane. We were not jigging at all. Spencer's rod literally went in the water. But the reason why we're doing this, we want this fish to stay alive. I mean, this is an old fish. Um, so we got the tape, we got the slide. Get it wet? Yeah, it's pretty warm out. Like it's, I mean, as you can see, this water's not freezing. It's probably 25 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't okay. think this it's gonna is. freeze, but. Ready? Yep. Okay. Ready? Here we go, boys. Just want to take super good care of these old fish. These fish are so old. Ready? Yep, 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 yep. Got him. Head. 39. Yeah, right there. 39. 39? Yep. 
Not, not quite 40. Not the 40 inch we're after. What? That's insane. So big. Just the clear a clear water. Giant. Mega. That's a giant. Evergreen Resort. Oh my goodness. Thanks to the boys for giving us some information too, Trent. Yeah, thank you Trent Lays. Dylan Beck, thank you for the help. So cool. Such a cool fish. So cool. All right, Spencer's grabbing the fish right now. We are gonna put it back in this hole. Um, I just wanna say, like I said in the beginning of this video, it doesn't matter who caught that fish. That was all we came out here for. You spent 30 hours on the ice for one fish. If Sam would've caught it, if I would've caught it, if Spencer would've caught it, it's the same feeling. And uh, let's get it back right now. Go one more time. Look at that hog hail. <sighs> so healthy, no blood, So nothing. cool. Such a cool moment. I'll grab the tail. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna put his head right in. Take great care of these fish. That's Look a 10 at inch that. hole. That's a 10 inch hole. Fills almost the whole entire hole. Lot bigger than the trout we were catching earlier. So cool. Did send it? Yep. Ready? That's awesome. Thanks, buddy. Like Alex said, it doesn't matter who catches it. <laughs> Bit of a me, Sam, Alex, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's such a team effort to be out here. I almost feel guilty even caught. I wish Alex would have caught it truly, but such a cool deal. His rod almost went in the water. It, it makes it so much better. The GoPro is rolling. We have some stuff going on. Moral of the story is we have a flight out of Winnipeg tomorrow afternoon and we are still in northern Manitoba, but we'll figure it out, right? Uh, it's all part of the journey, and uh, I just want to say thanks to the dude over at Evergreen as well. Yeah. Um, he's a super nice guy. I know Trent, and uh, which other buddy? Trent said? and Dylan Beck. Trent those guys, and Dylan Beck. Those guys helped us out a bunch too when it comes to just locating fish out here because this map is uncharted. And bait. And bait as well. Bait is a huge yeah. thing. But uh, the dude at Evergreen let us stay at his place for free last night as well as he kind of like went over some tips with us. and just. You're right on the lake. You can sled from there. Yeah. And uh, I don't even know what more to say. You got to thanks. You got to give thanks for thanks to do, and those three people definitely helped us out on yeah, this trip. Big time. Epic Northern Pike to Epic Lake Trout. I don't know if we can end this ice, fish, ice fishing on a better note. Peace out. Clear water.